Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rebecca, Becky, Bex, however you want to call me. In today's video, I'm going to be trying on for the first time the Makeup Revolution Patrika Bright face palette. Now I know you're thinking, Rebecca, isn't Christmas over? Well, yeah. I know it is. I've still got my Christmas lights in the background and I've still got my Christmassy eyes on. I did film this look for Christmas, but oh well, at least it's still December. That counts, right? Right? I'm very, very excited because I really love their face palettes in the past. I know they've got one in the black packaging and I also got one from last year, which was their one in the cream packaging. So. I'm very excited to give these a go. So if you guys are going to enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video with your friends, whoever likes makeup. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description bar below. So let's get started by trying on the Mecha Revolution Patrick Bright face palette. Now this palette retails for £8, which is it just me or is the Mecha Revolution price is starting to slip up a little bit because I swear like many many years ago their palettes and everything used to be like round to four pounds five pounds but now they're starting to really push their prices up a little bit which I can understand why because they're upgrading their formula all the time they're bringing out new products so you can see why their prices are going up slightly not by too much but just a little bit more this palette here I know that she's come out with two other ones as well I've obviously picked up the lightest one in the collection. So this one's called the uh, Moonlight Glow palette. I know she's created one for medium skin tones and for deeper skin tones. I've just taken it out of the box, but this is what the packaging looks like. So it's a really nice sort of rose, well, it's got gold on the back, but it's a really nice tin packaging. So it's metal. So very sturdy, really, really good packaging. And like I said, with the previous ones as well, the previous palettes I was talking about, you know, you get a you get a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blusher. So really nice, ideal for travel. In fact, have I still got that cream one? I've still got it. So this one is what I got last year in their Christmas set. So very very similar so you've got the bronzer highlighter and blusher i just remember loving their original one which is pretty much exactly like this one but in black and oh, i remember it was so ridiculously inexpensive i think it was like two pound fifty or something and it was just amazing the bronzer was great the highlighter went on the blusher wasn't too pigmented and it was like two pound fifty back then it was such a great formula i don't know how they made it so affordable but made it so good so and sadly i don't have that one anymore because i ran completely deep pan on there was nothing there was nothing of it left that's how much i used it so when i got the one from christmas i yeah really liked this one so so you can tell throughout the years they really have improved their packaging and i've got to say with the new one not only it's really sturdy but it comes with a really nice mirror in it as well. Very good, perfect for traveling. So just brought it a little bit closer so you guys can see. So this is what the packaging looks like. That's what the colors look like inside. So I have the shade Moonlight Glow, which is their lightest shade. So let's just give these a bit of a swatch. So I'm grabbing the blush, the bronze. Oh, and that highlighter feels amazing. So. Ooh, that highlighter. Ooh. I mean, Revolution's very known for their highlighters, but... Can you guys see that? They swatched really nicely. They felt really velvety. Especially that highlighter, of course. That highlighter could just keep going. Okay, so we felt the texture of them. Let's see how they apply. I'm gonna start off with the bronzer. So the one right in the middle. Just gonna grab my angled brush, like I always do. Let's see how this applies. Oh, yep. Yeah. Very pigmented. Oh, I've got so much texture on my skin at the moment. It's beyond a joke. It's a nice colour. It's a really nice undertone. I forgot to mention as well that she also has brought out a eyeshadow palette with Makeup Revolution as well. It's that really big massive palette. I think it's like £20. Let's just say when I swatched them in store, the texture felt slightly different to their original palettes. So I'm very intrigued. I think they've... I think they're improving their formulation all the time. 
But gosh, do you guys remember when their first palettes brought out? The ones that were like four pounds and it was like so inexpensive, but they were just so good. Uh, I'm gonna do the other side as well. That bronzer went on so nicely. Just pretty much like their old formula, really. No patchiness, easy glides on. Yeah, due to the weather, that's why I've got so much texture on my skin at the moment. But it glided on really nicely and it's a gorgeous color as well. So I'm just gonna grab the brush with my leftover setting powder on. And I'm just going to clean up the edges. Right, I'm gonna try the blusher now. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm just, just knocked off the bronzer now. So I'm just gonna grab that. Oh, might be a little pigmented, but we'll see. All right, okay, yeah, I can definitely see the colour. Yeah, this is more pigmented than their old ones, their old blushes. Their old ones and these palettes here weren't as pigmented, but yeah, this is definitely a lot more pigmentation there. Just going to tone that down a bit. I'm just adding it now to the other side. Yeah, it's nice. Nothing to fault about it at all. It's a nice colour. Adds nice warmth to the skin. And it easily blends out as well. So, yeah. Oh, I like that. Nice. Now, the fun part and probably the best part out of the whole video is the highlighter. I think that's like everyone's favourite, favourite product to try on is highlighter. I'm gonna grab my little Kiko brush, my very old Eyes 200 brush. Just gonna dip right in there. Oh, it's very powdery. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh. Yep, I don't need to say anymore. It's very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. It's quite a buildable highlighter actually, because at first I put it on, it was quite subtle. That Yeah, you can see it's quite subtle, but you can build it up, which, yeah, I've got nothing to fault on that. It's not, it's like a really nice light icy white highlighter, but it's not over exaggerating any texture. I mean, don't get me wrong, that has been highlighters in the past I have not liked, not particularly, not from Make Revolution, but there have been ones I've used in the past and I find they just over exaggerate my whole texture on my skin and they just do not look that nice at all. So there are ones that I don't like, but yeah. This is really, really nice. So I'm bringing this down the bridge of my nose. Kick it by. And down the chin. Might add a bit of spray actually and see if we can intensify it a bit more. Just gonna take my Dream Satin Mousse from Mousse? <laughs> Mist from Maybelline. I'm so used to saying Mousse because they're Maybelline Mousse. Right, just gonna spritz that. Oh, it's gone over the mirror. Nice. Oh, well. Yeah, that's made it a lot more metallic. Oh, Make Revolution, you never disappoint us with highlighters. You never do. That highlighter is stunning. Yeah, I'm just going to finish the rest of my eye makeup off camera and I will come back and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I've just finished the rest of my eye makeup and I've also applied a lip product as well. If you want to know what I'm wearing, I will put all the information in the description bar below so you guys can check that out. My final thoughts on this palette. This palette performs just as great as their old ones. I'd have to say though that their, their newer highlighters are a bit more powdery than their old highlighters. Their old highlighters were not as powdery, so just be a little bit careful on that one. Make sure you tap your brush before you apply it. The bronzer is pretty much just the same as the old palette. And the blusher, the blusher is a little bit more pigmented than their old ones. The old palettes, the blusher I found wasn't as pigmented, but you don't want an over pigmented blush anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But would I recommend these palettes? Absolutely. This performs just as great as any Makeup Revolution palette. The bronzer applied really nicely. The highlighter, can we just talk about the highlighter? Oh my goodness, it's just so blinding. The blusher is lovely. It's not over exaggerating any texture. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend this palette. This palette is really, really good. And if you can somehow get your hands on the older palette, um, I'm not sure. Um, I'll let you guys know in the, in the description if you still can get the black one or not, but if you can, 
I do recommend picking that up as well or any of their face palettes really I know their contour palette is really good as well formula is just fantastic they're just improving their game all the time with formulation and packaging definitely recommend it if you guys have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video with your friends whoever likes makeup don't forget to follow me on instagram link is in the description bar below thank you guys so much for watching have a great day hope you guys had a great christmas opening all those christmas presents and stocking up on turkey have a happy new year stay safe what is your new year's resolutions anyway guys let me know in the comments below i really love to know my new year's resolution for next year in 2020 is to try and upload two videos a week not one so i'm a bit nervous but i'm hopefully gonna get there so yes i'm gonna plan to try and upload two videos a week not one so i shall see you guys on my next video in 2020. <laughs> so exciting. Bye guys.